so the Lord's um, woken me up this morning um, with a dream and the, the important details were the car that I saw. It was a black car and I was zooming into um, the details of the car like the armrest, um, the external lines of the car and these lines shifted out and then then they were filled in with either the black paint, the upholstery, or there's a lot of silver chrome on this car. And then I um, started writing what the Lord was giving me and I uh, spent the day watching um, this three in the trilogy of Men in Black. So I watched the first one and... There's a lot of stuff in there that's symbolic, um, but I'm still hoping to see their car wreck. Uh, the car that was in my dream was the car that they drive in the movie The Men in Black. And my husband told me it is a Ford... Grand Victoria or something like that that's what that car is called so it has that royalty symbolism anyway here's the word as I was picturing this car wreck from my dream it's a car wreck everything will be filled in in time once you get to it you will shift things like moving details, edges and lines that contain it, and I will fill it in. This is your proof that it is happening, going to happen the way I said it would. It is a black car, like the one in the movie, Men in Black. It has leather seats and lots of chrome details. It sits on the side of the road, crossing the medium rail, halfway on the shingle, gravel edge, having broken the rail. Uh, it was surrounded by desert, like on a highway. I'm sorry, I can't tell you any more than that. But I can say, you will feel the details as they happen. You will be present and it will be a witness in your spirit it is like this because I can't have anything changing can I it's a purposeful plan and one that is substantially made and in place now don't be surprised if you get accused of being part of it because you know so much about it. They just want to control you, but you cannot control the voice of God. It is explicit in its purpose and divinely motivated. It's my dog again. So much for TV and media telling us what's going on. Not the information I'm giving you. No. A secret document can't contain it. It is the mind of Satan and the mind of Christ. But thankfully for you, he has never and will never know the mind of Christ. A welcome bed for the ones he calls. That's us. A bed of nails for he who is not. Don't forget the exchange. The exchange between two lovers. The vow. The ring. The loving embrace. Now this is the awaited celebration. The one that has come and has yet to come awaits. Don't forget your toes. Count them. 
and sure they are all there. He will be counting his fingers. And the number is 666. Six, six. Thanks. Have a nice night.